Keys, sometimes called passwords, are needed for logins, encryption, hashing, and other security-related functions. The goal is to have a key that's both long and strong. The longer the key, the more possible combinations an attacker has to try. And using a strong key, avoiding ones like your pet's name, your birthday, 12345, or heaven forbid, password, denies an attacker an easy win by using a dictionary of common passwords first. So again, you want your key to be long and strong. The paradox is, it's hard to remember long keys, and the keys you can remember usually aren't strong. There's a technique called salting, where you add a chunk of boilerplate to a key to lengthen it without having to memorize the whole key length. So, take a dollar bill, and use the serial number before or after your key to lengthen that key. Or another technique is, Alice and Bob need to share a key. They go to the bank and get three sequentially numbered bills. They pull the no middle number out, and that's their shared key. Alice uses the number that's one higher, Bob uses the one that's one lower, and they can then use that as a salt to their agreed-upon passwords. If they want to cut Carol in, they give Carol the middle bill and she uses that number. So while there are shortcomings to this technique, the obvious one being that uh, it's 11 digits on a, or it's 11 characters in US currency of a fixed format and a relatively limited character set, I believe that the benefit of key lengthening using a dollar bill as a salt outweighs, in many cases, the weakness of the additional key space. So again, keys, long and strong.